Hey everyone, I'm Mike from theparkprodigy.com and on today's video we're going to break down everything you need to know about Epic Universe tickets at Universal Orlando. And Universal recently came out with some exciting news that Epic Universe, the brand new theme park, is opening up on May 22nd, 2025. So we're getting everyone prepared. There are going to be some major changes when it comes to purchasing your Universal Orlando tickets. And that's the reason we're creating this video. So if you are in the process of planning that Universal trip and you're trying to visit the brand new theme park, Epic Universe, in 2025, just be sure to stick around until the end of this video. As always, I'm very excited, so let's go get started. Thank you again so, so much for checking out this video. Like I said, we are about to break down everything you need to know about Epic Universe tickets. And here at the Park Prodigy, we do help a lot of families. Specifically, we help a lot of families pick the right fit ticket for them. So this was something I was personally very, very excited to get news on and something we're excited to kind of, you know, start creating content and releasing all these videos that will be helpful as you're planning your trips. But we're going to jump right in and we're going to start talking about how you purchase your Epic Universe tickets because it is going to be completely different from anything we've seen in the past, anything you know we have have seen in the past 20 years anyway from a theme park standpoint. So what is Epic Universe, right? Epic Universe is scheduled to open on May 22nd, 2025, and it offers different worlds for everyone. Guests can step through amazing portals, transporting you into the excitement of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Ministry of Magic, Super Nintendo World, How to Train Your Dragon, Isle of Burke, Dark Universe, and Celestial Park. So it has five immersive worlds, one amazing theme park, and the most important thing to understand at this point in time, at the recording of this video in November of 2024, Epic Universe will not be offering standalone tickets initially. So that means if you're planning your trip right now, you know, you do have to purchase essentially a multi-day ticket option that gives you one separate day to Epic Universe. And I'll circle back to this shortly, but that's the most important thing to understand that you can't go and purchase, let's say a three day ticket just to Epic Universe. There are gonna be restrictions. At this point in time as well, the only way to get a one day ticket right now is for annual pass holders. And Universal has come out to say that the limitation is only temporary. However, Universal will be announcing single day and two day Epic Universe tickets will be sold at our later date before the park officially opens up. Now, again, the problem with this is if you're planning a theme park vacation, we don't know when that is. Epic Universe opens up on May 22nd. Universal can drop one-day tickets on May 20th, and they might only drop the one-day tickets for September or later. I'm not saying they're going to do that. I'm saying we don't know what this means. The other thing I would say, too, is that for annual pass holders anyway, the one-day tickets sold out for specific dates. At this point in time, anyway, the first week of Epic Universe being open, I don't think that's going to change. I think that Universal is definitely going to um, release a certain amount of one-day and two-day tickets, and they're going to sell out. So you do just have to be mindful of that. And again, you know, the purpose of this video would just get get you familiar with the multi-day ticket options. But really, again, if you're trying to visit Epic Universe and you want to plan your vacation right now, these are the ticket options that you have at your disposal. So currently, the ticket options include multi-day tickets at Universal Studios Florida Islands of Adventure and Volcano Bay, plus one separate day at the all-new Epic Universe. And that is the most important thing to keep in mind. Even if you're purchasing a three-day ticket right now, that doesn't give you three days access to Epic Universe. It's essentially two days access to either Universal Studios Florida, Islands of Adventure, and of course, you can also always add Volcano Bay, but it's one separate day to Epic Universe. Even if you go up to, let's say, a four-day ticket, it's going to be three days at the old school Universal Orlando theme parks, plus one separate day to Epic Universe, goes up to a five-day ticket, which would be four days to the old school Universal Orlando theme parks, plus one separate day to Epic Universe. And then Universal Orlando also has a three-park unlimited ticket, which can be added to Universal Orlando vacation packages. If you've been, you might be familiar with that ticket. But the important thing, again, to keep in mind is the three-park ticket only gives you one separate day to Epic Universe. What this looks like is essentially, again, a three-day ticket could be a two-park base ticket, which you might be familiar with, plus one day at Epic Universe. It could also be a two-park park-to-park, plus one Epic Universe day, three-park, two-day park-to-park, plus one Epic Universe day. That's the way that this is broken out. It's the old-school tickets, 
plus right now it's one separate day to Epic Universe. And it's important to keep that in mind, right? Because what this means is even if you have a park to park ticket, that doesn't mean that you could go to Islands of Adventure in the morning and then go, you know, go park to park over to Epic Universe. You essentially need to be mindful of that. You can only go park to park right now at the time of the recording in this video anyway, you know, within the old Universal Orlando theme parks, the original theme parks, which is Universal Studios Florida, Islands of Adventure, and if you have that, you know, three park ticket, that will include Volcano Bay. Now, this is where I think it can get confusing for families. And again, we sell a lot of tickets at theparkprodigy.com. And I was even confused by the wording from what I'm seeing right now. So now we have four parks, right? So, you know, it gets confusing because the old school way was a two park ticket or a three park ticket. We knew that a three park ticket included Volcano Bay. However, now a three park ticket it, you're picking three parks out of four. So which three parks does it include? I would say the way that I'm looking at this is a two park ticket is still Universal Studios Florida and Islands of Adventure. A three park ticket in my mind, the way that we are currently selling it is still Universal Studios Florida, Islands of Adventure, Volcano Bay, and then always it's going to be plus one separate day at Epic Universe. Of course, if you're visiting all four of them, that's a four park ticket. But I would just say keep that in mind because if you're saying like if you go to your travel planner, you're going on the Universe Orlando website and you're like, oh, I want a three park ticket. That doesn't mean Epic Universe, Universal Studios Florida and Islands of Adventure. That could mean that right from your perspective, but most likely a three park ticket is going to be Universal Studios Florida, Islands of Adventure, and Volcano Bay. If you only don't want to go to the water park, you need a two park ticket. So Universal Studios Florida, Islands of Adventure, then plus one day at Epic Universe. And so now one of the important things to keep in mind is how does this work, right? It's Mike, do I have to pick my one day at Epic Universe? Like, do I pick that in advance? No, the way this will work is the old school you know, essentially validity window where if you're purchasing a, you know, three day ticket, you would essentially receive a six day window to go and use at the theme parks, go and use your three admission days. So you don't have to pick, you know, your one day at Epic Universe in advance. What I would say though is Universal is already kind of confusing us a little bit, right? Where they're saying, well, no, you don't have to pick your Universal Orlando Epic Universe day. However, the theme park can reach capacity, right? So what does that mean? Well, Universal noted that when purchasing the current multi-day tickets that include one admission to Universal Epic Universe, guests won't need to specify the date they plan to visit Epic Universe. Instead, they'll be guaranteed access by having the ticket package and just need to list the first day. What that tells me is that Universal is most likely going to give preferred treatment to guests who are staying at their official universe or Orlando hotels. And this is something that we saw previously during you know the COVID years when Universal was restricting the attendance or capacity at the parks. They were giving preferred treatment to the guests staying at the official universe or Orlando hotels just because they're, you know, they're trying to do the right thing and give a better guest experience by limiting capacity. And they're, of course, just from a legal standpoint that you can only have so many amount of guests in the park. This park will reach capacity guaranteed, definitely the early days. Um, and I would say from the, what we have seen, the popularity of guests who want to come and check out this park, it's probably going to be there for definitely the first couple months. I, I you know, we can exceed this extend way out into 2026 where so many families just want to come and visit this amazing park. What that means though is again if you want to guarantee yourself access or really just from a convenience standpoint being able to show up you know kind of a little bit later in the morning you want to be staying at an official Universal Orlando hotel. Just That's just my honest opinion. I can't guarantee that that's the way it's going to play out and we've just been doing this a long time. That's kind of how I could see this playing out. Now if you're not staying at an official Universal Orlando hotel and you do want to kind of make sure that, you know, the day that you plan to go to Epic Universe, you will be able to get in. You don't have any, you know, restrictions from a capacity standpoint. The cool thing and the amazing thing that we're really excited for is that Universal has confirmed that there will be early park admission at Epic Universe. So again, if you're interested in early park admission, give us a call at the Park Prodigy. We could definitely help you explain the options you have. My personal opinion is this will be the best way to make sure that you do get into Epic Universe and there aren't any you know, capacity restrictions on the day that you plan to visit. You definitely want to be sure to show up 
as early as possible and take advantage of that extra hour so that you are in the park, already in the park before the park reaches capacity. Because the, the other important thing to keep in mind too, from what I personally learned during you know, 2020, 2021, when there were restrictions is of course, you, know, you might be in the park in the morning, but once you leave the park, then they allow other guests in and you pretty much are not guaranteed to be able to get back into the park. So when we're talking about park restrictions or reaching capacity, stuff like that, you want to make sure you get into the park as early as possible, which of course is going to be early park admission in this case. And then you stay in that park all day long and you don't leave, especially if you're visiting on a busy day. Now, can I guarantee that Universal will have early park admission every single morning? No, I, I can't at this point in time. We don't know what the schedule will be like. However, just from my previous experiences, like I said, that will typically be the best way to make sure you and your family do get into the park. Okay, so now let's talk about pricing, right? We've spoken about your ticket options. We know that they are multi-day tickets, really starting at three days with two days in the old school parks, one day in Epic Universe, four days, which is three days in the old school parks, one day at Epic Universe. And then of course, we do have that five-day ticket, which is four days in the old school parks one day at Epic Universe. How much does this all cost? Of course, that is the very, very other important question that's on everyone's mind now going into this, right? I didn't look in the summer because I just feel like park ticket prices are gonna be a little bit higher in the summer with the popularity coming you know, out of May of 2025. But Universal has the ticket prices starting at $373.81. That's kind of where they're starting. That's the minimum you know, price point. Now, what I did was I went and I looked on September 16th, 2025. And so for a two day, two park, one park per day, plus one day at Epic Universe, that's gonna cost you right around $384 per person. For a two day, two park, park to park, plus one day at Epic Universe, that's gonna cost you right around $441 per person. For a three park, again, when I say three park, I mean Universal Studios Florida, Islands of Adventure, and Volcano Bay, one park per day plus one day at Epic Universe, that's gonna cost you $455. For a three park, two day park to park ticket, plus one day at Epic Universe, that's gonna cost you $484. Now, the other thing I did, again, and people get at me because they say I, I compare the two, you know, Universal and Disney way too much, but I think now, especially with this brand new park, you're going to be comparing them more than ever because Epic Universe changes everything. We've never had a brand new park like that. I mean, really, I'd say in my lifetime, but the truth is I was too young to actually make these decisions you know, with my own money and be like, okay, well, I can go spend my money in Disney where we have the four main Disney World parks, or this is a brand new park with brand new roller coasters and brand new theming. I grew up on Super Nintendo World, Harry Potter, you know, like this is all stuff that's amazing to me. Do I prefer to spend my money at Universal or Disney? And what I did was I went and looked at a three-day Disney World base ticket and it, for essentially the same date in September of 2025, a three-day Disney World base ticket was $394. Pretty close. When you compare that to, again, the three-day Universal Orlando ticket, which was two days at the main Universal Orlando theme parks, Universal Studios Florida, Islands of Adventure, plus one day at Epic, that was $384. So we're comparing $394 to $384. It's pretty close now these. Okay, so on what I also did was on the high side, I went and I looked, okay, what what is the high side of Universal Epic Universe tickets look like? And on December 25th, 2025, we're gonna go through this quickly. So for the three-day ticket, again, which is two days, two parks, one park per day, plus one day at Epic, $543. For the two-day, two park, park to park, plus one day at Epic, $600. So that's kind of crazy. You know, we're getting up there. So for the three park, three day plus one day at Epic, $614. For the three park, two day park to park plus one day at Epic, we are going to be at $694. So that is, again, for a really a three day ticket, you're at almost $700 getting on the high side. But of course, that is the busiest time of year in the theme parks. All right, so now jumping into some of the most frequently asked questions at this point in time, of course, regarding the new Epic Universe tickets. So we're going to start with, of course, the most popular one. We already covered this, but is there a single day ticket option for guests wanting to visit Epic? And during the initial phase of Universal Epic Universe, guests can only purchase multi-day tickets for three days or longer that include one admission to Universal Epic Universe. Single day tickets will be launched at a later date before the park opens. So just be sure to stick around, subscribe to the Park Prodigy so you do get the latest Universal Orlando news as we will have a lot more videos just like this coming out 
in the coming weeks. So definitely you don't want to miss that as we release the new videos. On to the next question. Are there Florida resident discounted tickets for Epic Universe? And again, during the initial phase of tickets being released, it does not look like there are Florida resident discounted tickets at this point in time. We are expecting that at a later date. Are guests guaranteed to be able to visit Universal Epic Universe with their tickets? So this is directly from the Universal Orlando website. So we plan to manage attendance at Universal Epic Universe to ensure we're providing the best possible experience for our guests. As part of this process, ticket inventory and capacity will be controlled to allow each guest who purchases an Epic Universe inclusive ticket to visit the park for one day during the course of the validity window of their ticket. The confusion here is yes, Universal is saying that they guarantee that you'll get into Epic Universe during the window of your ticket, but what does that mean? What if you show up on the last day and they're already at capacity? Are they guaranteeing you into the park? The wording here is just very, very confusing. What I would say is one of the tips and tricks that they have already given us is if you are planning to go to the theme parks, make sure that you go as early on in your trip as possible that you're trying to go to Epic on that one day. And what that will allow you to do is let's say if they are at capacity, you can then at least come back the next day. We don't know how they're going to manage attendance or capacity. All that I know is that they have already stated that the parks potentially could reach capacity. Of course, we know that they've, they will figure out a way to get everyone in, but it's more so from a planning standpoint, you don't know when that's going to be, right? So you want to do everything you can to potentially avoid any issues. And again, my honest opinion is you're going to have the best possible chance to get in on the date that you really want to get into the park by using early park admission. Okay, so another very, very popular question. It's kind of surprising that, I, that it took me this long to get to this question, but are there Express Pass products available for Epic Universe? And so Express Passes for Epic Universe will be launched at a later date before the parks open. We don't really have many details regarding this. What I also would say, though, is the other very, very popular hotel that's opening with Epic Universe, which is Helios, does not include Express Passes, even though it is part of the new signature collection. So this is where some of the confusion also will come in as you now have three Universal and then the hotels which come with free express passes to the main two parks. It's not going to include a free express pass for Epic Universe and now you have a brand new Helios Hotel which is part of those signature hotels, like it's top tier, but it's not gonna include Express Pass for any of the parks at this point in time. And Universal also said that they do plan to release more information on VIP tours, the My Universal Photo uh, Pass products. All of that information will be coming out at a later date that we do not know about just yet. But this is pretty much where we had to start. This is essentially everything you need to know about purchasing your Universal Epic Universe tickets. Like I said, if you are in the process of planning that Universal Orlando trip, and you do need a little additional help, just be sure to go check out our website, theparkprodigy.com. And as a thank you for sticking around all the way till the end of this video, I do have a special promo code that we released specifically to celebrate the excitement of the brand new Universe Orlando theme park that you can go use on our website to save an extra $30 off your Epic Universe tickets. And that is going to be Epic 30. And of course, like I said, if you do want to be sure to get the newest and latest and greatest Universal Orlando vacation planning videos as we release them. Just be sure to hit that subscribe button as I have a lot more similar videos coming out in the coming weeks. But I think that's all the time we have for today. Thank you all again so, so much for checking out this video. And until next time, I will talk to you soon.